dog's not the best. It's pretty hammered. Hi guys, welcome to FNS Bushcraft. Today we're in the back garden again. Uh, weather's bad, uh, so we've decided to do the Addy Rondak chair uh, that we promised in the other videos. Um, so, in the process of this video, what you've been seeing is I've been notching these poles. You see, flat notch, well, as flat as I can get them anyway, flat notches. Um, and I've also angles the top so then they sit flush or as flush as you can get them doesn't have to be perfect uh, together um, all you need is six poles we need to make two triangles um, right now I'm just on the first three um, so no, hold on I'm on camera today guys there's my thumb, hi. Uh, so yeah, the angle bit at the top, we've notched at the back so that when you come to lash it, the lashing's got something to bind into to pull that angle, or those two angles, together. And it gives a stronger bind at the top. Instead of just doing them on the, the you know, the smooth round pole, if you notch the back of your angles... It's got something for the yeah. cordage to grip under so yeah. it doesn't slip off easily. Right. Um, I just wanted to say that. So, you need two longer poles, and the length is your own personal preference, depending on how big you want the chair to be. Um, and you're going to want a shorter pole for the cross piece. Just try these together. You obviously, you don't want it too wide. And you don't want them too long. Usually the long poles are up to about your shoulder height and you really want about foot and a half width on your angle going across. We're pretty much at that foot, foot, two, two foot, probably about two foot there but yeah. Yeah if, you, if you're a big guy or gal then uh, you make it to your preference or if you're a smaller person then make, make it smaller. Yeah make it a bit narrower. Um, but yeah this is basically your, your bushcraft chair. Um, so if you're out in the wilderness and you've got a little camp um, and you want something to do, um, this is a great thing to keep you busy and it's quite easy to make. Yeah. Half an hour to an hour if you've never done it before. Um, you do have to have kind of basic notch skills yeah. and basic lashing skills but again from what we've shown in our videos all I've used is a Mora Garberg I think it is. Yeah that's what we've got here. Um, how lovely that is guys. For all you knife lovers out there, that's the Mora Garberg. It's oh, got my favourite Mora knife. The normal grind that you get, and then on the front, it's got like another angled bit that goes away from the knife on the point, right the way down to the tip. 
lovely looking knife. It's brand new, this is the first time I'm using it, so. Like a hot knife through butter. <laughs> um, my old Mora companion is uh, ready for retirement, so it might just be used for odd jobs at the moment. Overused yeah. and abused, is it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's get back to it. Um, I'll be back on the camera when I've got this all lashed together. Um, and I'll explain the lashings when I'm at that point. Yo. Me. Okay guys, so first one's done, um, what we've done is a Canadian jam knot into a square lash um, and then we finished it off with a, um, we did like a, wrap round, didn't we? a wrap round and then half hitch and then with a uh, just a normal knot and then what I've done is I've melted the end of the paracord just to stop it from slipping out and the knot coming undone. Um, and then up here, similar, right? similar Canadian jam knot, just a wrap, and then finished it off with a half hitch, um, and the same. So we're just going to crack on and get the second one done now. Um, also, once you've got your bottom bar on, on the opposite side, so on the back, about an inch above that bar. Depends on how thick your poles are. Um, but you're going to need to cut um, another uh, flat notch about an inch above on either side. Um, and you're going to need another pole and you're going to need to across the back on the opposite side. Uh, because when you make the other triangle and you slip that through like a letterbox, Excuse me. Um, it's going to use that as a as a pinching point, as a lever, to hold the weight on and the structure. So as you sit on it and the back leans back a little bit, which it will do, it pinches and binds against on the on the opposite side. So, or so, so like that. Yeah. So it pinches it, but but that bit needs to be on this side. The opposite like, side. On the opposite yeah. side. So when you put your pole in, it's got something to bind up against. Like that. Yeah. You'll you'll see it properly when we've done the other triangle. But um, we get this back bar in and get the uh, do the other triangle, and then you'll be able to see exactly how that works. Um, but when you've done your first triangle, that's the basics to your first triangle. When you do your second triangle, it's exactly the same as this. It just doesn't have or need the second bar on. So on your first triangle, remember opposite side and above. Okay, so opposite side to that, which is this back side and above. Okay? And it also depends on how thick your poles are you're going to use as to how wide that needs to be, but it needs to be quite close so there's not much give in it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right guys, so we'll be back in a minute.
Here I go. to go around the other way from the other end of the stick, aren't you? Yeah. Seems like a really nice knife to carve with. It is. Hey guys, just a quick little tip, when you're lashing um, with paracord and you're done and you've got these little tag ends left 
like this, you just take a lighter and melt the end. Hold on. And then tamp it down with the back of your light the back of your lighter. That will just seal stop you fraying now. The end of the uh, paracord and stop it fraying and coming loose. And it dries pretty quickly as well. And you can do it on all of your knots as well if you want to. Hey guys, as you can see we've lost a lot of light, uh, while well, we were building one of the triangles one of the joints on it snapped so we had to replace uh, one of the poles so it's taken us a while to do that because we had to re-notch yeah, and re-lash everything. This main joint here on one of the sides, basically the pole was too thin this is what happens is where you need to get a nice good couple of thick poles so when you do your notches it doesn't create a weak point. Um, so remember when you cut in that stop cut, top and bottom. Don't do it too deep. Don't go too deep. I would say a quarter of the depth is enough. You're just trying to create a, a flat face. face instead of it being a round face on both poles so they bite together. It doesn't have to be six inches deep or you know two centimeters deep. As long as it's about a quarter of whatever the thickness of your pole is. That should be about enough, okay? So, we've got our two triangles, as you, as you can see. As you can see, two triangles. So this is the upright with the pole at the front and the pole at the back. Pole at the back a little bit higher than the pole at the front. And you, you get the, Make sure it's wide enough to fit your, your sticks through. You get the point of your second triangle. Okay. And you feed it through, feed it through until it stops. Like that. So then you got a triangle on the floor and a triangle for your back. And you get some. You just get some loose sticks. Hold on a bit. Get some loose sticks like that. Put them on there. For you to sit on, and then uh, hold the camera house. Yeah, yeah, because it won't take my fat house on there. <laughs> I know it probably will. Like so, so I see, and just just creates a shelf for your bottom, as it were. And obviously, you put sticks on the back. You can tie some sticks to the back, or you could get a tarp or some material. Yeah. Stretch it round so it's stretchy. Maybe a shirt. A Pop a shirt over the back and just tie the arms together around the back. I'll show you my coat. Or you can use a coat. It's another good way of doing it if you've got like a spare outer layer. Try and zip it if you can, or just tie your arms. Coat round like that. Will it zip? Don't want to knack the zip. Come up a bit higher if it's too tight. Tie your arms just so that it takes some of that strain off the zip pole. No, 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 round your side. Just takes uh, some of the strain off the stretch. That's it, and then again with a knot if you can, or just leave it like that, that'll do. So you get the idea. So you've got a backrest with your coat, so you don't need to then spend more time building. 
that, it's actually quite good. Is that okay? Yeah. It did take us a while, but... Yeah, it has taken us a little bit longer than we wanted, but... It takes us ages to do anything these days, so... <laughs> But I'll just show the, the seat that you sat on, that's on that triangle that you put down as the rest. And then you've then got the upright as your backrest. And it just basically pinches itself with your weight between those two parallel bars that you put on. One at the bottom, one at the top, one at the bottoms at the front, and one at the tops at the back. That is the most important bit, or your chair won't work. Okay. And because that that pincer bit there is the load bearing part of the chair, obviously, try and get those as thick as you can. Yeah, yeah. And the thicker they are, the more strength you're gonna strength have. you're gonna have, and the heavier the person it's gonna hold. Um, but we just use the poles that we've had at hand. We could have neatened off the poles, the loose poles that we've put on, but we just basically threw them on because they're only loose, just spare bits of sticks that we had lying Thanks around. <laughs> um, well, yeah. Just to show and demonstrate for purposes, but you can chop the ends off and neaten them up and just fill it up from back to front with the loose sticks, cut them all to the right length, and then away you go. And if someone uh, out there is smart enough, you could probably make a Bushcraft Sun Lounger where you have some sort of attachment on the front for your legs, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> sun Lounger. It's an idea, isn't it? Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, there will be a link to the page in the description. Um, please check out our other channel, FNS Paranormal, um, if you're into those types of things. Um, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.